Hi guys, welcome back to Russo Model Channel, Member Club. Sorry that uh, you not see my face and uh, I talk about uh, what we do today because I think this video is going to be very long. As you can see, we have a three angle of a point. I use my phone and also my GoPro that you can see my hand walking in each uh, place and it's awesome. I try to mix it and bring you uh, another uh, point of view. And I think it's awesome guys, because uh, today we will focus on the body. We will cut some of the part. I will show you what I'm using. A saw, a knife and a scriber that I put my logo on it. Awesome model. Uh, this engraved by Dispy. They sent me one 0 0.15. And it's awesome to uh, this kind of work. I also use a Tamiya one, uh, 0 0.2 two the green one and uh, what we need to do today is uh, make a cut over there as you can see and I will try to do it very slowly that you will see and understand sometimes we will do it in fast motion and uh, sometimes I will talk so first of all let's start to cut things okay guys for cutting things I use this wonderful tool and let's start from the front bumper okay guys what we need to do it's cut it from here and here and also here okay and after that we will continue with the hood and after that with uh, the skirts over there that we need to replace to the gimbal one and then I think it's going to be awesome because uh, most of the time uh, people don't see me cutting so now it's my member club see me doing this work so let me enjoy uh, see how I work in very slowly and uh, enjoy I try to mix the as I say from both sides and you will see and enjoy so keep attention what I'm doing I first start very slowly to remove material out okay and it's awesome slowly slowly guys each time do it slowly each time remove a little bit material from both direction guys okay how are you today guys I know that you wait for uh, the gimbal video I see many people uh, join the club and it's amazing because I think this car is going to be very, 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 very nice. So the people that here, I think they will enjoy a lot. And uh, see my hand working, it's better than talking. Okay. Each time take little bit material from all the sides until the part will uh, be loose. And we can continue. To the other area, let's make a fast motion and enjoy, guys. Yes, uh, guys, so uh, the hard part of the cut in this area is this loop, okay? So take your time, do it slowly, all the time with the curves, move the car and continue with the shape, okay? And it will be more easy for you to make it, do it from both sides. I hope that you enjoy, I try uh, my best to show you what I'm doing, it's not hard most of the time, but my member club, this car is going to be awesome and it's going to be mine. And this is very important for me because I want you that you will see my style, uh, and it's very important 
to me. I hope uh, Sni watch it. In a long time he saved me. I wish that I can see how you build something for yourself. So now you see what I'm doing. This is my uh, project and I hope that you love it. Uh, very important to take the time guys. Very important. We about uh, 10 minutes working on the front bumper. That's why I uh, put all my time to show you what I'm doing. Try do it slowly to see where you need to send more or cut more. Over there we have a lift and over there we have a lift. And also on both sides I cut it. Do you see it's get inside? So I need to work on the area of the wood. And I will do it very slowly until I will be satisfied. Each time that I in, uh, move around, it's take little bit material out. And this is the best way to cut part, guys. Not only in a trans kit, if you want to cut some part, this is the best way. It's take time, but believe me, it's the best way. What? Think about it. Don't think about the time, think about how to make it in the best way. Okay, fast motion and continue. Yes, guys, I remove it very gently. Do you see how much beautiful is it? What you can do now, it's a little bit make a sanding for the uh, spot. And let's continue because we need to remove also the hood. So, uh, people, uh, one thing that I do and remember and uh, uh, think about myself that I no need to when too much time on it, I can cut it from here and it will separate together. But uh, we will do it. Let's make a face motion about it. guys a little bit of a cutting material and then I will come with the saw and start to engrave it so I think it's awesome also also wonderful way to make it until you'll be satisfied you can put it with this it so all the way and it will make the because it can bend is go to the line inside and remove material out and I think it's awesome don't be afraid to make mistake just see what I'm doing I'm also most of the time make mistake but we can fix everything here and if not we can buy a new kit and start from the beginning just enjoy enjoy guys 
okay let me continue until it will be outside and you will see yes you see it's going inside and now it's very easy because all you need to do is come and go out come and go out and it will be out very soon very soon guys very soon do you see how much it was easy yes i know it's not be easy like gluing part but if you want to make unique art you need to do unique work on modeling and this is the true modeling guys this is the true modeling to modify parts to make things my member club long video for you take glass of coca-cola put glass and uh, see how to how i make the interior body okay Sometimes you need to use the engraver, it's okay. Sometimes the saw, but this more or less how I remove it. Uh, stay the body in a wonderful way. Now, wonderful tip it's also you can bend it a little bit and it will remove out. Okay? After you make it little, you can remove it out, play with it until it will be go out. Easy, ten, 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 ten. Yes. Now you can send it a little bit. Maybe take a knife, remove it from below. It's better. Also over there. And now we can start fit this wonderful part. So, <laughs> but first, it's perfect. Wow, amazing, amazing. But first, what I love to do is glue this one. I will glue this one and verify it's everything okay. And after that, I will glue the hood, and verify everything stay in position. Sometimes you need remember to send and do things. Awesome. Look, this is awesome guys. If you need to send do it later after that, just verify everything okay. Let's take a little bit glue. A box smith, I love to use it. I will put a little bit on a piece of paper and I will not use too much glue because I want to play with it. In the end I will uh, put a little bit more all the time it's cure inside and the glue can go outside so what I do I open it with a knife and use little bit glue and verify for the last time if it's okay and remember that you can send it most of the time okay yes I see over there that I need a file and bring it little bit down so I take a file bring it little bit down that no have a heel awesome huh yes now let's make a test fit now we know have a heel over there between the parts and it's awesome okay everybody see now verify that everything okay let's glue it glue what I love to do is glue one area and after that play with the plastic to to the other area and it will be fit, fit perfectly so what I do I put little bit glue over there remember no need too much and after that little bit over there and now it's more easy because I need to play only with one side and bring it perfectly to the place okay everybody see okay. play with it to the place until you be satisfied take time to the, uh, the glue cue so you can play with it and this is good for me also 
everybody see? Very good. Now let's see. Yes, it's glue. One size glue. We can play with the place over there. And after that, send a little bit and uh, put a, a putty to the right place. You know, with uh, a raising uh, parts, it's not all the time perfectly fit, but you can all the time sand and uh, bring it to the shape. Okay, what I will do now is use a little bit glue over there and clean the rest. Just little bit guys, just hold it for a first advice and bring it to the place and yes, we have it guys, everybody see, awesome, now after that all you need to do is verify that everything sits perfectly, just let it little bit cure and I will add glue in later time. Okay, let it. Yes, I will let it cure a little bit and we continue, guys. Yes, guys, okay. After uh, we put uh, the front bumper, it looks fantastic. We need just a little bit sand it to bring it to the uh, shape and, uh, for the body and also for the car. And I show you uh, how I do it. As you can see over there, I have a little bit big gap from here. So I will do a little bit putty and uh, use some uh, uh, sandpaper to just verify the gap. Okay. We will do it later. First of all, let's glue the the hood, the magnificent hood for uh, the gimbal. As you can see, it fit perfectly. Just maintain and uh, verify that you have a gap from all direction that it will be nice. Okay. Do you see? I leave a little bit gap. It's for the shadow between the parts. Remember. So what I will do. I will put little bit glue over there, just little bit to verify this okay. And after that I will use little bit more. This for only for the first advice. First a uh, gluing area. And also over there for the other area. This is how I do my thing guys. All the trips, all the magic. Okay, just little bit, yes, because you can play with it and if it, you make any mistake you can all the time improve and remove it again okay i will try to find a place the perfect place that i will not uh, need to send too much and it's very important for this car look the gap all the area i will play with it because i want also over there it will be fit perfectly and look awesome okay play with it until you be satisfied this is in place to me all the gap perfect I need to put it little bit you see I can play with it it's still not gluing so I can play with it and bring it to the right place when I speak with the Johannimo tell me don't leave a gap over there because it's not real I will leave just little bit gap between it to create the uh, shadow okay for now, everything look amazing and good. Fantastic, guys. Do you see it? Okay, let's continue. Uh, what I do now, it's just add a little bit glue over there for the parts. And after that, I will uh, leave it and let it cure, fully cure, and we continue. Okay, guys? Guys, guys, guys. Okay, we understand you, Yaniv. Okay, see you soon. okay guys uh, let's continue uh, you know that you need to remove the mold line what I usually do it's 
also use my pen and mark the mod line all the way on the car and after that send it I till I not see the mark the marker and then I know the mod line go on this area I don't care because I will remove it and I will show you how but uh, I want to talk with you about the gap remember on this area uh, let me show you wait 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 I will take a toothpick and I will show you easily on this area I have a wonderful gap but here I have a little bit big gap so what I will do I will use a putty from um, Mr. Hobby and I will put little bit inside and after that before it's cure before it's cure what I will do it's uh, take a knife and put inside take too much and just need little bit to create the shape I will put it inside all the way you can use a different uh, method but this uh, work best for me I will put on everything okay and after that I will just take a knife and find a place and remove it okay like that okay and after that I will leave it to cure I will leave it to cure and after that I will send it and it will fill the gap inside and it's awesome. This is awesome trick. Uh, if you have a small gaps, uh, mass, uh, more or less uh, most of the wood, okay, I just send it a little bit to bring it to the place of the uh, rest of the car and it's wonderful. I have just a little bit more adjustment. Uh, Yes, remember to remove the mod line, take a sanding paper, 4000, uh, sorry, 400 by Tamiya. Try to do it with sponge because it's protect the curves over there. But also over there, remember, putty will help you to make the right groove. On all the place I try to do my best to leave a small gaps, as you can see, for all the direction. And after that we will use a panel line and it will be awesome so now let's continue uh, let's do the rear section uh, first motion how to remove it very easy from here and also from here we will leave it to cure we will focus on this area and we will start again with a um, scriber engraver by Tamiya and take slowly slowly material out and you enjoy the music guys Okay guys, uh, use the saw, it's uh, perfect to this area, it works perfectly, it's take the material out. <sighs> modeling guys, modeling, this is the meaning of modeling, take a Tamiya kit, wonderful kit, and take Geranimo Trans kit, and make wonderful thing guys, these parts, ha ah, go home! Now what we will do, it's a little bit sanding to see if everything okay. By the way, I work with the, uh, also over there, I have a, the manual sell me each time what to do. But more or less I know what to do because I feel comfortable to send it and uh, after that adjust it. Do it slowly. Let's bring the piece and see how it's going. And I bet that you will love it. Aha! Do you see? It's supposed to see it over there with the wheel, with the wheel, the shape of the wheel over there, and also over there. And it looks fantastic. We will do it in the same way. First of all, we will glue all the area, and after that, with the bending of the plastic we will do the other area 
if we need to use a putty we will also use but first let's glue one piece what I will use a little bit glue from both direction and we will let it stick to the model perfectly way yes I already made okay I will try to find the shape that's it leave a little bit gap for the shadow remember between the parts it's not supposed to sit uh, perfectly it's supposed to leave a gap that you can uh, put a some uh, panel line and it will be awesome okay you can use the uh, activator from time to time I love to use activator it's helped me a lot just bring it to the place and try to focus to the shape of the car remember all the time with the shape of the car I not uh, put too much glue because uh, I don't want uh, it will be fixed uh, very uh, strong and I can remove it so this is what I'm doing for the first yes I can use some little bit activator and hold it to the place that I want and after it's glue it will stay forever okay one side okay let's put little bit glue little bit remember no need too much because we don't want any problem with it okay yes I put and we find a way it look awesome I look the shape of the area and I adjust it very carefully to the place Related Q. You can also use activator and see if everything okay. <laughs> everything go out. <laughs> Play with it, guys. This why I not uh, put too much glue. To play with it like I do. Okay. It's a little bit challenging, but I believe you and you believe me. So we will make it. Also, we will let it queue. So it's not good. Okay, let's start again. We will take some piece. We will clean everything. We will clean over there everything. We will try to do it again. We will remove it. Let's put glue on all the places and glue it in one time. Let's see if we will succeed. Okay, what I will do now, it's a different uh, way, I put a little bit here, and also a little bit here. Mm, my baby cries, she miss me. She miss me. I'm a father, by the way, wow, it's awesome to be a father. Okay, let's continue. I know it's a little uh, long uh, video for the people that uh, usually see. 20 minute video but uh, this will be very long for the people that want to build the exactly car and want to know how to make it right okay hold it fix it yes it looks awesome yes also over there with the shape of the car I need little bit over there It's fantastic guys. Now it's you. Ta -da! What we will do is uh, take this uh, piece and verify this is in the right place and everything. Okay, this is called a test fit. Uh, a wet test fit. Okay, we we'll cut it and bring this part. I will send it a little bit 
By the way, if you're looking for a wonderful uh, cutter, by this piece, send me one and it's very awesome. Remember, if you make a test fit, it will help you a lot. Okay, let's see if everything looks okay and we have the right shape. It's supposed to sit like that and it looks fantastic, guys. Yes, I do a great job over there. And maybe Geronimo will make. Okay, if you need to send a little bit, send it a little bit. I see that I need to send a little bit over there, so what I do, take a little bit over there. It will create a great gap between the parts. Let's see. Awesome, awesome. Now I have the right gap over there and it's fantastic, guys. I love this car so much. And it's going to be mine. <laughs> yes. So. Everything okay over there. We just need a little bit sanding everything to, to bring it to the shape and also over there. Uh, let's continue. Let's make a one side skit together and uh, we will see how it's thing going. Okay, I hope that you enjoy now. Until now, everything okay. That's very good. of work yes guys so after I remove it I just need to glue this part bring it to the place and verify everything okay I hope this will be good and I need to verify that I leave a gap over there okay guys it's very important and if you have any uh, um, unnecessary material send it down Verify that nothing interrupt you to put the piece in the, in the position, guys. Yes, it's look okay. So yes, I take the, the model to myself, and you not see, but I'm very very focused over there. Let's make again test fit. This is good, fantastic guys. Just need a minute to the place. And, uh, yes, this is okay. Let's make a test fit with uh, the panel door. It's supposed to sit over there like that. And we need to be very accurate over here. And verify that everything sit perfectly. Okay, this is the tricky part. You can use it over there because on Tamiya they have some area and I will not glue it because when I want to paint I also want to paint this area uh, this area and uh, if I will glue it together everything I can paint the below area so it's not nice and uh, I think uh, I will try to do it later on to glue the other area okay so let's first glue this to the place. Uh, I must say, uh, Geronimo, uh, it's make a wonderful trans kit. I love it so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, I will try to focus on one side and after that glue the other side. So let's do it again. I will, I will take a new piece of paper. 
Wow, 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 look the car, guys. Awesome. This is the, <laughs> the hard work on the trans kit, but in the end, it will be very uh, unique model because uh, I see many people build the Carrera GT, but a few of them build the Gimbal Amirage. So let's bring it to the place and verify that everything okay. We will try to focus on the one area, leave the other area for later. And try to win it to the place. Bob Smith, thank you very much. It's a wonderful clue. What I can do is try to win the activator. And after this is in a good place, I can try to add the activator. I hope that you can see. So yes, I will bring it a little bit to your side. Uh, one thing that I not imagine is uh, that you can play with it, even the activator working. And you know you can bend it a little bit, it's just raising and find the right place over there and it will be awesome! Okay, before we will uh, glue this area I will make a test fit with the panel door to see if everything okay and I see it's very nice I don't know if it's the right place yes, this is the right place it's so fantastic. Do you see, guys? Yes, I'm see, but you don't see. Okay, if you need a, a small adjustment to send in and uh, things like that, you can do it. And now all we need to do is glue this part over there. Okay, and what I will do, I will lift it a little bit and I will put a little bit glue over there. And after that, I will show you what I'm doing to, to create a more uh, better uh, stick this is just the first advice and I will bring it to the place and verify this is gluing yes it's also nice I love it so much gimbal okay this is our gimbal, guys. You can also use a little bit activator. I work a lot with the activator on the trans kit parts because it saves time. And now we have this panel door that fit perfectly, guys. Look! Awesome! Okay, what you can do now is add a little bit more glue over there and also over there. I will do it in the end and I will verify that I'm sure this is the place like over here and I will uh, use uh, more glue okay let me put the other one and we continue okay so yes guys uh, we are about to finish uh, all the fitments uh, as you can see the hood stick very well i love it and uh, i think it's awesome i leave a gap i send the putty over there and uh, also the side skirts and the bumper everything look fantastic i can show you that the fitments uh, goes perfectly to the amazing this to this amazing car and uh, one more thing that we need to do before uh, we will wash it and Yes, I will uh, wash this uh, model and uh, that's it. Let's cut this piece over there very gently. We don't need this piece when we paint in. Some people leave it and after they paint, we, I will leave it. I will focus on some area and after that send it. And uh, more or less uh, the car ready. Uh, what we have here is the roof. 
over there and after that on the roof this come this part come here and also the smaller part that I already I not uh, cut it yet but this is supposed to sit over there we will not glue it we will just verify all the parts go perfectly this part is supposed to sit over there and uh, on top of it it will the gimbal air vent uh, I don't know how it's called but it looks fantastic yes I know it uh, was a little bit and uh, a long video but uh, look what we do today guys we cut all the parts the front bumper the rear bumper and uh, make this wonderful thing I hope that you enjoy I hope you some uh, learn something new today it's very important to the channel and also to me how to leave a gaps and uh, use a bobsmith for this kind of job it's amazing I will wash it and uh, we will continue to prepare parts on the next part. I have many more parts that I want to prepare with you and show you what I'm doing before, even before I uh, start to paint things. Okay, guys? So keep attention, wait for part two. It's going to be awesome like that. So have a good day, Rosso Model. If you have any question about it, I will be very happy to answer you. Bye bye. In bad times, I know I'll be okay. Cause I find my way